Bedell. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I seek your advice. Yesterday, on re-entering the building for the first time after Christmas, I witnessed one of the worst cases of abuse of security staff that I have seen in my time here. One of the members of the other place, who I will name so as not to incriminate anybody else, Lord Ken McGuinness, had forgotten his pass, something that we have all been guilty of. However, instead of taking the advice of the security staff, who, as we all know, are here for our security and our safety, he proceeded to verbally abuse and shout at both the member of staff, calling them <laughs> crooked, oh my God. saying, did they not know who he was? He had been here for 46 years, and refusing to take the advice of both, and assistance of both myself, the security staff, and the police that then attended. I have reported this incident to the authorities, but I seek your advice, as the member is not elected, so I am interested to know to whom he is accountable and what can be done to make sure no member of staff on the estate is ever treated in that way or abused in the manner which I and others witnessed yesterday. First of all, let me say, no member of staff of either house should have to put up with abuse. I would say we have a policy that runs through all of this estate and I would always encourage members to respect the people who are carrying out their duties to make sure we are safe. And that's what I would also say is normally we would not name a member of either house in this way. But what I do take very seriously is that staff carrying out their duties should not have to put up with abuse. What I would say is we are aware of the situation. I would expect those in another place to look into that, and I want to reassure those staff that they it will not be tolerated, and we will ensure that that message goes across to all members of both houses. Point of order. Point of order.